I'm gonna do a bit of a solar update, but uh, I thought I'd show you my ball ends. I left the uh, left the ignition in the on position and uh, drained the battery. It was on all night. I don't think it takes a lot of power, but it obviously drains something. Battery's totally dead, and I had to boost it with my little battery pack. So I got my Noco Genius sitting here. It was at 50% for the longest time, and it's finally just at 75. It's obviously really bad to, to drain a battery like that uh, when it's cold out especially. It's really bad for it. So I'm hoping the uh, Noco Genius works its magic and gets it back up to 100%. Uh, really nice having this thing just uh, start with the ignition. For the longest time I had to jump the starter on it. So. It's done well. Um, one of the issues I had with it though uh, <clears throat> was with all the blizzards this thing sits outside and uh, all the uh, the control panel gets all frozen up. The choke and the, uh, the throttle and the key obviously and the lights. Everything gets completely frozen up because it gets jam packed. I, I run it for you know 20 minutes everything gets hot and then it sits there and gets snowed on everything all the snow melts of course and uh, freezes it all up. You see this, uh, that was a new muffler not too long ago and it's getting a little rusty because it's outside. I mean I, I can't get to my shed because of uh, all the drifts. The other problem I need to fix this year, this is the first year I've been using this uh, blade and I've been uh, pushing it so hard that I've actually bent the blade I got to strengthen it. I don't know if it's really meant to uh, be pushed as hard as I was pushing it, so I'm going to fix that. <clears throat> Alright, on to the solar. So today I uh, took the opportunity, because it was nice and sunny out, to dig out the solar panels. And this is my off-grid camper, which I actually just sold. But I had to dig out the solar panels. There's 120 watts there. Uh, yeah, 120. And you can see the snow. Um, I mean, the snow is above the top of the panels. So I had to uh, dig it out. It, the sun is high enough that it's still got, you know, an, uh, about an amp of power. And it did melt off the front of the panels a bit. Um, but you can see the camper is completely encased in snow. So every once in a while I have to dig this out because the solar charge controller does consume energy so if you're not charging it daily not replacing that energy you're gonna run your battery down um, and I did that once <clears throat> and uh, you wreck batteries quickly by just letting them drain like that especially when it's cold so uh, yeah you gotta clear them when it's when it's snowy you gotta keep the snow off them uh, otherwise, you know, unless you completely disconnect your battery at uh, at top charge and nothing drains it, then you might be okay for a while, but it still loses energy. But anyways, just a note to uh, clear your solar panel. I'll show you the inside here. It did get up into a, a bulk charge here. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. It, uh, it says 13 volts. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, it's at 13 volts. It's not uh, taking or losing any amperage right now, so it's still drawing in a tiny bit of amperage, although it doesn't uh, show it there. But uh, 13 is good. It was down to 12.6 uh, before I got the uh, snow shoveled off it. So that's good. It will take in, uh, it will charge the battery a bit, uh, even with the snow on it. Like it's still taking in, uh, you know, taking in solar and power, but uh, not a whole lot. I'll take you over and uh, see the uh, solar in my off grid shed. And uh, I used to, now I'll, I'll point it out when I get here. I used to have the, oh the snow's deep, so right under here is the window that I had the solar panels in. It's completely covered in snow. 
Now the opening to my shed is almost completely covered in snow as well. So let's see. I don't know if you can even see it there. I probably can't even get in here. Let me see if I can get in here. Oh boy. I got a panel right there, but it's not. I should plug that one in because it's always still hasn't got high enough for it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Let's see if my light turns on here. There it is. My light's working. So uh, these two panels here, three watts a piece, were obviously sitting in that window. And again, I can't tell if you can see it. I think you can. Yeah, it probably looks better. Obviously, the backlit, non-backlit screen on this this verb. It's hard to see, but you know, as so you can see, the it's packed with snow there. And I had these uh, panels in that window. So what I did, I just pulled them out and I just set them up here, basically. I mean, anything is better than nothing. And I don't use the light in here a lot, so I don't discharge it a ton. So it kind of just sits there, and I mean, those batteries, uh, the, uh, the batteries aren't uh, very good anyways. So I'm not too concerned about them. Um, once they're, once they don't hold the charge, I'll just toss them. Um, they're just, they were just out of my lawn tractor. Uh, my old Craftsman lawn tractor, I think. So, uh, yeah, they don't do much. They just sit there and kind of work together. Um, and then power these lights when, uh, when I'm in here, but like I say, I'm not in here that much, especially, you know, with the, with the snow bank. Like that, you know, I can't get in or out. And this is why I can't get my tractor in here. So, uh, these guys just sitting there like that, uh, that's enough to, to keep them charged, you know, somewhat. I don't know what the voltage is. I should get a little, uh, eBay, uh, voltage meter and just, uh, stick it on there. Uh, just so I can keep track of them, but that that would drain it probably unnecessarily. I'm not too concerned about these guys, but uh, yeah, it keeps going. Um, the same for chicken shed. I uh, I got to uh, always clean it off every day uh, when it snows. That is, and uh, make sure it's topping up those batteries because I do use the chicken shed uh, lights every night, pretty much, and morning actually, um, because. Uh, I mean, in the winter, um, it is uh, dark in there as well, so I always uh, turn the lights on. So yeah, that's a little bit of update. I should, like I say, I should connect up the one that's right there and uh, get that going as well, and that would help. I mean, what I'm doing, I'm basically trickle charging these guys through the winter. That's all, all I'm doing with them because, I, like I say, I don't really use it too much. Anyways, let me see if I can get out of here. All right, that is an update on my uh, off-grid solar stuff, and we'll show you more later. I'll, I'll probably be taking the uh, off-grid solar stuff out of the uh, off-grid camper soon since I sold it, and uh, I'll be doing a new project with all that hardware, so look forward to that.